And Tom McGamey here. This is going to be Aurora Borealis salt painting experiment. And so this is a really exciting experiment where you will get to create a bit of an Aurora Borealis scene. And so this is a picture of the Aurora Borealis. And in the dialogue, in the um, narrative, it will talk about the signs behind the Aurora Borealis. Basically what's happening is solar wind, excited electron sort of particles from the sun, are hitting our atmosphere and reacting with the gases and the magnetic field, and that's the key part, because otherwise these gases are completely enveloping the whole globe. We would see aurora borealis everywhere. The reason we see it at the poles is because that's where the magnetic field of the Earth kind of lives. And so with this green, for instance, that's a reaction. So in chemistry, color indicates a specific element. So this is a reaction that's happening in the lower atmosphere because of nitrogen and oxygen, which are the primary gases of our atmosphere. So what we're going to do today, I happen to have blue, so for Aurora Borealis, you can do, mostly it's green, sometimes it's pink, sometimes it's yellow, sometimes it's blue. I highly recommend using liquid watercolors, and you'll understand why when I show you. I have cut out a little silhouette of what's going to be in the background, some mountains and some trees. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, you can skip it if you want. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this down. This is a heavy cardstock, or you can buy a pad of very specific heavy duty marker paint pad. That's what I would recommend just because you're not going to have any bleed through when you do paint. And so I've got two types of glue. I've got squirty glue and I've got a glue stick. And so I am going to glue this silhouette down very quickly. And so if your child is younger, you can cut this silhouette for them. If they're older or in between, you could trace it for them, like some mountains, some trees, and have them cut it out themselves. If they're even older, they can craft their own silhouette and cut it out. And so depending on the age of the child, you know, adjust what you're doing. So the glue stick, I like the glue stick for paper to paper because you don't have any moisture from the squirty glue. And so what we're going to do now, just making sure this is clear, is you are going to make, so you're going to point out to your child how the Aurora Borealis seems to have a wavy pattern to it. And so what you're going to have them do is you're going to have them do like a wavy sort of pattern with the glue. And you want it to kind of have this kind of fun wavy pattern. So hopefully you can see that I just made some lines on the sky portion of my paper. I don't wanna hold it up because I don't want it to drip too much. Just like that. And then you're gonna move, I have an aluminum tray. If you're working in your home, just use a cookie sheet or a baking sheet, something with sides. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna pour the salt on top. And your goal is to completely coat, and you don't want the glue to sit too long because it'll dry. You want to completely coat the glue. So you don't want any naked glue. You want, so you really can't overdo the salt. And you're just gonna tip it. And so you can see that there's salt crystals all over your glue lines. And you can see why I used a tray to catch the salt. Just make sure it's all off there. And then this is the key part. So when they're doing the paint, you might have a few different colors from the tray. I've got blue today, because that's what we had in the office. This is what it looks like. It's liquid watercolor. I would highly recommend it because if you've done watercolors with your kids, it's a little bit easier, especially because of what we're gonna be doing, which is we're gonna be dripping. So they're not gonna paint the lines, they're gonna drip on them. And what you're gonna see happen is look, the paint starts to spread across, it's really quite fun, um, the salt as, and it kinda has its own like, little reaction. I'm just gonna tip my paper so that all this awesome paint, oh, it's real. this is fun. Definitely, if you're doing this at home with your kids, do your own version, because this is really fun. But the key is that they're dripping, and you can see it spreading and diffusing across the salt, like so. And so you can see, oopsies, I don't wanna touch it too much, how it works, and it creates kind of a fun effect. And then you can have them just, they could paint the rest of the sky if they want. Um, I feel like green is the best color for this because that's kind of more the true to life what that will look like. And so you're just going to help them paint and 
create their own like kind of aurora borealis effect. And so that's the aurora borealis salt painting.